Hi to all. This video is regarding the external emergency stop that we'll get once in a while, okay? First, I wanna start explaining what I have, you know, the system I have, the programs and all that. I have a CNC accelerator MSX. The running program I have is Mac 3, okay? And then I have Windows XP. As you can see, my sacrifice wood is not, it's all beat up, right? It's not too good. But for the things I do, I make props, like wooden props, I had to get through. So in that way, it minimize my time on Sunday, right? So you can see, I do like woods, wood cuttings. So this one says something else. I just set them up over here to say tile. <laughs> okay, see, I, I done many things like this butterfly on the CNC, many, many, many things. Okay, I had that one that I did by hand. As you can see the cuttings, they're not perfect. See, I did a 22 and a half feet tall and this one is eight and a half feet tall. Okay, by hand. But now, going back to the CNC, okay? There's a lot of videos here on YouTube that will say that you have issues with your running program, that you have to change this, that you have to reset this, you have to reset that. Uh, some of them, for some people, it might work, okay? But for some others, no. They say that you need to change your computer, okay? It's like blaming everything that you have, right? I hope I'm not too late for so many people, you know, for some people, but I know there's a couple of us that give up and just sell our machines for nothing or scrap just for that reason, okay? So the problem I have, my machine stopped working, I got the emergency, the external emergency button requested, and then I replaced the buttons, I replaced the sensors, right? And nothing was the problem. So I did all the changes that all these people in YouTube said, you know, I'm not saying that they're bad, but I did all that, but in my case, none of that worked. And I see the same, many of you guys' case doesn't work because I see so many comments that, hey, I changed all this, it hasn't happened. And some people trying to explain some of the steps and still doesn't work, okay? So, and it's very simple. Okay, very simple. I hope this can help you. Uh, please, and if it does, give me a thumbs up or something, a comment, you know. So I know some people are gonna criticize me for my big ass, ass that I have, my, but it's okay. I try to help you out, okay? I have a little bit of knowledge that I wanna share. I'm not to technical names or describing some items, but I have a little bit of knowledge, like I said again, that I want to share. Okay, so the first time that I had this issue, I called a company, they want to charge me $300 to come over and just check, which I said no. I have a family member, he's an electrician, so he came over, uh, he confirmed that I got power all over the place that after me re replacing the e stop buttons and then the sensors he confirmed that I have power all over the place so the only place that I didn't have power it was on the motors on the Y Z and X okay so I didn't know what to do that day 
but I keep on checking, listening to videos, changing here, changing there. I even got like three computers replaced, nothing worked. Reinstalled the program many times, nothing worked. So I started touching cables. like all over the machine. You see, the machine has this, right? So I was thinking, okay, maybe one cable broke or anything. So all the motors have this. You can see when they join the cables, okay? Almost like a, like a fit. They put these noodles and they use the heat gun and they melt that noodle on the cable, right? So I'm touching all over the place. And then the first one that I opened was this motor, okay? The one that goes back and forward. The white, I have two motors, one on the right, one on the left. So I opened that one and I separate those, those cables that, you, that I show you on, this, on the black thing. So I open it up, separate them, nothing. So when I came up over here, I touched that, okay? On, that's the motor that goes side to side, the X. Okay, when I went to the X, and I check over here, in that noodle, it was like crispy, like, like that. So I cut those cables. And then after I cut it, put it together like that, the way it is right now, the machine stopped working. The emergency stop went, uh, alarm went away. So I stopped working, no problem at all, okay? So almost like a year passed by, I'm doing this project. And then last week, I had the same problem same problem the emergency external emergency stop was pressed uh it's not going away i start watching all the videos again but i still remember that i did this in work right so i i keep on listening to the video to see if i have anything changed over here uh because I teach one of my daughters on how to run it, right? So I said, well, they might change something. I'm checking the settings, nothing. And then I start checking cables again. I have power all over the place, okay? But then to confirm it, I call in my son-in-law. He's an electrician. And he confirmed it, that I have power in all my emergency stops on the sensors. The only way I didn't have power, it was on the motors. But now on this one, I have power. On the, on the C, I have power. I have power on the Y, but on the X, that is the one that goes side to side, I didn't have power. So now, I tell him to open this one, and I open myself this left one, okay? So when we both open it and check it, this is what I got. Let me turn it around. You see? The same problem with that noodle, the black noodle. They put on top, and this is the way these savages, the one who built this machine, did. So I had cables like touching. I have a short, second time. I didn't save it when it happened the first time, but I did save it this time because I wanted to explain. So now, it's something logical. When I, when I cut this off and put it back together, Everything is start working perfectly. No problem. The machine is working. You, can, you see it working right now, right? 
so this is the main problem that you all might have a short somewhere now the way it works is this the emergency cable uh, the emergency buttons is connected to all the the y the c and x right so anything happened you press the button it will stop them those three motors or four like me i have four two on the side one up and down and one sideways okay so the emergency stop will stop those motors so all those motors are connected to the emergency stop so if you have that alarm is basically one it, it, it had to be a short that you have in one of those motors or a loose cable somewhere a loose cable most likely not too much but a short definitely okay so i fixed my machine again for a second time and that's you know that was the problem that i find simple is a short somewhere now i have one of my neighbors they have a cnc and then come they come over here asking me like three days after i fix my problem hey sergio um do you know any mechanic or any company that fix a uh, cnc and i say why well, you having problem with the external emergency stop and they say yep how you know I say because i just had that problem twice the second time about three days ago so i said well all you need to do and then I explain what happened to me i said i all i need all you need to do is check the cables to see you have a short somewhere they run back to the company they check and yes 100 percent, they have a short they fix the cables. They came over and shake my hand. Thank you very much. Yes, they have a shirt. So that's basically what you have. Some company, they don't want to admit that they screw up. That the way they build the, the, the machines or something, or they have like they, they don't want to meet it okay like i say i'm not an electrician i'm not a knowledgeable people regarding like names or whatever but i know a little bit and then i told you that it's a short all the problems that you have is a short when you fix that problem Okay. The the emergency the the external emergency stop alarm is gonna go away. Okay. So that's all you have to do. Check for a short somewhere. And then get somebody that knows electricity so they can tell you on which motor you don't have power. So remember it's always everything that you get connected to the emergency stop. It will be the problem. You have to check out everything that is connected to the emergency stop. It's not just the emergency stop or the sensor. It's including the motors that are connected to the emergency stop. For example, if I have any issues with the spindle, I won't get an emergency problem because the spindle on this machine is not connected to the emergency stop, which I don't know, maybe it's like messed up or something. But that's the way this company built it. Okay? So I hope this helped you. Please give me a little thumbs up or thumbs down. I really don't care. You know, I just want to share my experience of what I have, you know, the problems I had. And I hope this can, this can help uh, so many other, you know, to fix the machines. And like I say, if you have any other machine exactly like this one, MSX, 
accelerator that you want to sell send me a text so i can buy a, i can buy it from you see how i have my thing i don't have the suction i have holes that i invent i create over here this supporting thing and it goes to my vacuum plain and simple and then yes and not even use bag in the vacuum it just we it's with the filter so it sucks all the wood dust and then I just dump it on the trash in a bag so please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down whichever way you like and thank you I will appreciate any comment to see if it worked on yours if it didn't work I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna work I'm 100% sure that it's gonna work. Like all these videos that you see online, is just guessing to see you have any like, uh, maybe these buttons over here, maybe over low, like whatever. But nobody, nobody's gonna admit that that's the problem. A short, okay? A short is the final answer to all these problems that we all have. And it doesn't have to be a machine exactly like mine. It's like any brands, whatever, that's the problem that you have a short somewhere in those motors that are connected to the emergency stop. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And like I said again, I hope this helped you. Thank you. Goodbye.